talk about Dominican communities, the Dominican hair salon. We, I have stories about Dominican Same. hair salons, right? And yeah. and understanding these beliefs that you have bad hair, pelo malo, right? Mm -hmm. And you walk into a salon and leave traumatized, you know? Yeah. I can remember literally the last time that I went to a Dominican hair salon, yeah. you know, the woman walked out, my hair was on Biggie, right? <laughs> um, I didn't have a relaxer anymore. and. One woman, you know, washerwoman was hemming and hawing in Spanish yeah. about my hair and about her, how her arms were tired <laughs> and how, you know, fellow malo. And we finally got to the process where, you know, I was being rolled up, I was dried, and I was in, I was ready to be blow dried. And a woman, you know, blow drying my hair was a bit more smoke than usual. And I remember her saying, quemado. Yeah. And so she was saying that my hair burned. And so there was a strip of hair that turned from my hair color to the color of bone. Wow. And it fell from this point to the tip to the ground. And so this woman, my hair was burnt. I was so traumatized. And I, I think you could hear it in my voice. I'm still very traumatized by that experience because I am a dark black woman in this salon who, who, you know, understood exactly what was going on, but wasn't comfortable enough. I was young, so I wasn't comfortable yeah. enough to, to talk back in my Spanglish, you know, <laughs> and, and kind of let her know that I understood what was going on. And deeper than that, she saw me, she saw my color, and automatically thought Belo Malo, yeah. made assumptions about the, the texture of my hair, how much heat it could take. Yeah. And as a result, it was burned literally on the ground. Wow. And so this is indicative of a much deeper issue of colorism. Pelo malo, which translates to bad hair in English, is a term often used in Latin American cultures to describe naturally curly or kinky hair. This term perpetuates the idea that our natural hair texture is inferior, undesirable, and something that needs to be fixed or changed. The concept of pelo malo is rooted in colonialism and the pervasive influence of Eurocentric beauty standards. By labeling our hair as bad, society attempts to diminish our identity and pride. This notion feeds into a cycle of self-hate and insecurity, affecting how we see ourselves and how we relate to one another. We must reject this harmful terminology and embrace the beauty and diversity of our natural hair. Our hair is not bad. It is a reflection of our rich heritage and resilience. By learning about and understanding the roots of these terms, we empower ourselves to break free from the shackles of colonial mindset and reclaim our narratives. Educating ourselves and our communities about the significance of Pelo Malo is a step towards dismantling the internalized racism that these terms propagate. We need to celebrate our natural hair, teach our children to love their curls, kinks, and coils, and challenge the media to represent our beauty accurately and respectfully. It's time to stand together and redefine beauty on our own terms. Let's support each other in this journey of self-love and acceptance. By doing so, we not only uplift ourselves, but also send a powerful message to the world that we will not be defined or limited by anyone's standards, but our own. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to tell a friend to tell another friend, sending love to each one of you. Feel free to leave a comment and share your thoughts on the topic.